Hey everyone, so I want to do a quick video today uh, with my Flash collection. Um, I will probably wind up doing about uh, probably like three or four more videos. Um, I have some, some posters that I want to showcase. I have some uh, pictures that um, I got with Grant Gustin. Um, I have an autograph from John Wesley Ship. My wife and I and my son got a picture with um, some of the cast, three of the cast from uh, The Flash. So I'll probably put that in another video. Um, I also have a bunch of t-shirts, uh, too many for this video, so that'll be a separate video. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's start with uh, with this stuff. So try to keep it brief. Um, some of the stuff I remember where I got it from, some of the stuff I don't. Uh, I've got just so much stuff that it's just hard to keep track of every single thing. So, but anyway, let me uh, run down and show you just a quick uh, synopsis of what I have. So let's start. Let's start here. This looks like a good place to start. So, so these action figures um, have for quite a while. Um, uh, you see the whites in the eyes. That that means that it's Wally. Um, these two are are not linked together. Of course, you can tell by the different label. That's Justice League Unlimited. Um, even though it says it's the Flash, he is wearing Reverse Flash's costume. Just flip this over real quick. You can kind of see there are other um, Justice League members that have different costumes as well. So I'm thinking that was kind of a uh, to coincide with uh, Justice Unlimited Justice League Unlimited comic. Uh, so uh, this one. That is definitely Barry. I uh, got that from Walmart, uh, which is not something. Whenever you see anything from Walmart that's Flash, you got to snag it up because it won't last long. Um, I didn't know the Flash could fly, but apparently he can. Um, when he's not flying, he's got a, a nifty little stand right there. You can put him on to pose him. Um, this guy here, um, on the back, it has. Green Lantern, of course that's Jon Stewart, and then Flash in the middle, and then Batman, and then down here uh, it looks like the Justice League jet, so for all the action figures to ride in or whatever you want to do with it. So, uh, moving on. So this is, there are two different versions of this. Uh, one is in a box, and one is not in a box. But they are the same, they're the same action figure. Or Yeah. Uh, this guy here. I want to say I got him out of a uh, crane machine. I want to say that my friend Kurt got that for me. Um, but either way, he's, he's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Uh, some watches. Yes, I do have some flash watches. Um, this watch I wore when I was working at Hobby Lobby and, of course, broke the little buckle off the end of it. So I don't wear it anymore, of course, until I can get it fixed. So uh, that one and this watch here. I got both of those at Spencer's. Got a really good deal on those. Uh, this watch here, my friend Demetric Lewis got me for Christmas one year. Um, it is a Kryptonian flash watch. Uh, I don't know if you can see the their Kryptonian symbols for the numbers. So, um, and that's why there's the Superman thing because it's Kryptonian. Don't know where he got it from. I think he got it online. Um, I'll have to ask him sometime. These are candy lightning bolts. They're not flags, but they are lightning bolts. And I just thought, well, that's that's not something you see every day. Uh, I believe that was Emerald City Comic Con. I believe I want to say that. I, I could be it could be the Ace Comic Con, but anyways, one of the Comic Cons where I got that from. The guy had free samples, so we tried it, and I'm like, oh wow, that's really good. So I got some of that. Um, Valentine's card for my wife. Um, this guy here. Um, just a random flash figure that I think my friend Kurt got me from Big Lots. You see the sticker there. Um, this is Cologne. Uh, this one I have not opened. Still sealed up. Um, I picked that up at Spencer's and then a couple months later for Christmas my friend Jonathan Downey got that for me. Um, same place. And I had to break it to him that I already had one, but he was like, oh, man, I'm like, you know what? That's okay, though. I, I now I have one that I can actually use. So this is my collectible. Still in the package. I'm going to keep it just like that. So, But it smells really nice. I was, I was kind of shocked. I was, like, thinking it was going to be, like, a really, ooh, 
but yeah, it's it's doable. Um, this guy here, my wife and I just recently picked up from a, a grocery outlet store. They had the Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. We got all four because you know my my friend Dimitri is big on Superman, so I'll, I'll give one to him. And then my friend Jonathan, um, they got the cologne from. Uh, he likes Batman, so I'll give him the Batman. If they don't already have it, if they do, well, then they have two. Some cards, just miscellaneous cards I've got over the years. Um, Looney Tunes, uh, well, of course, is owned by Warner Brothers, which also owns DC, so, of course, it's no wonder that they did these. Of course, Superbug, Wonder Pig, uh, Bat Duck, and then Tasmanian Devil's The Flash, and then there's just a random Tasmanian Devil I got, so... Up here, this gal here, which has real hair, that was kind of different. Um, so, so she and her male counterpart, Russians, uh, this is when Walla was a flash. Apparently the Russians were do experimenting on people and um, they had, I guess, like a secret formula. or Anyway, they gained uh, super speed and uh, I don't know, I want to say that they were, they were good, but... You have to read the comics. Um, I think I have one of the comics of theirs. They did like a four-part miniseries or something to that. So um, anyway, this flash here was part of our wedding cake topper. You see, he squeezes his arms. His legs actually move. So kind of different. Um, the other part was Wonder Woman. So and that was, yes, that was on our wedding cake from 2005. Uh, this little guy here is Bart Allen when, as Kid Flash. Um, this card, it's a hologram, so I can get it to work. Yeah, you kind of see the little bit of the red in there. So, uh, of course, that's Wally, but that's all right. It's still, still a nice card. Uh, again, these cards, I'm not sure. I've just had over the years. The buttons, I got it. Emerald City. Um, I pay for those. I believe that one was free um, at the free table. D they have a DC table, a DC free table, where they give away comics, and they give away buttons and stickers and, and miscellaneous stuff. Uh, the Flash action figures here, uh, my friend got for me, my friend Kurt got for me, Kurt Kunder, he got a lot of the stuff for me here, um, those are just a couple. Um, blue and white guy down at the end, yes, that is Quicksilver. Uh, and the yellow guy, that's of course Reverse Flash, but the blue and white guy is Marvel's version of the Flash. And he is not as fast as the Flash, of course, you know, he's a mutant, he was born with his power, so, eh, it is what it is, so, um... Okay, let's move on back down this side. Uh, some Christmas ornaments that I've collected over the years. Uh, unfortunately, that's Wally, but you know what do you what do you do? You know, uh, this is from my friend Kurt, 2006, and yes, that is Barry. He knew I like Barry over Wally, so he was looking for all the Barry stuff. Uh, that one is Barry as well, and yes, that is the actual size. It's a little bitty guy, um, and that one is from 2018. This one is 2020. I just got that last year. Um, so, close up there. Uh, the Nightlight. Not something you see every day. Yep, paid 11 bucks for him. Um, I mean, you know, you don't normally pay 11 bucks for a nightlight, but the Flash Nightlight, yeah, come on. Uh, the Ring. Um, 30 bucks for that. At, uh, it was from Superhero Stuff. Um, they have a really cool booth. T-shirts, rings, lanyards, stickers, shot glasses, glasses, you name it, and they probably have it. Um, they can't put everything in their booth, of course, but if you go on to superheroesstuff.com, really cool stuff. And if, you, if you're if you looking for Marvel, DC, uh, I, I want to say they have Image, Dark Horse, pretty much any comic uh, name out there. So a lot of cool stuff. Moving on, let's go down here. This sticker was from a friend of mine at um, Hobby Lobby. Carrie made that for me. She just gave that to me. It was from, uh, she made it with her cricket. She made the label, or the the, um, the flash insignia from her cricket. Uh, ironed that on to this, which she made from scratch. Uh, charged me 10 bucks. That, that was a pretty good deal. Um, this, this little guy here, um, I don't remember exactly where I got him. I've had him for so long, but um, it's kind of neat. He's got a little cartoon that comes out, and you can just roll it up by turning that, and it goes back in. Uh, flash marker, 
Of course, I had Wonder Woman, so I got that for my wife. I think that had Superman and Batman, too. Uh, flash Mask was fr from the Dollar Tree. I mean, come on, that's a Flash Mask. How often do you see that at Dollar Tree? You, you usually don't, so. Um, unless it's Halloween. Um, flash Wallet with, with actual scenes on it. Not just a plain Jane burgundy wallet. Um, and then, of course, just the regular stuff, the regular wallet inside. My son likes yellow, and of course reverse flash is yellow, so I picked him up the wallet. Um, let's go over this way. Um, this guy here, oh, sorry, that guy with the pop thing, I, I have no idea. I don't remember where I got him. I had him for so long, but I want to say probably Walmart. Um, the guy next to him, this guy right here, I got that from McClendon's. Um, it's very rare that you find anything from McClendon's. It's a hardware store, family owned, it's local. But it was up by the front register and I thought, well, I'm going to snag it up because if I come back, it's probably all going to be gone. So um, the three little um, miniature statues, uh, I think I got those probably at Walmart, I want to say. Or no, Dollar Tree. Sorry, Dollar Tree. Um, and then those are actual playing cards. Not, not flash cards, which would be really cool if they did that, but those are just regular cards. Um, postcard done by Alex Ross and there's some sketches on the back but that's one postcard that will not be sent out um, mini Funko Pop that little guy right there and I believe that is from yeah that's that would be um, Ezra Miller Funko Pop yes from the movie let's see if I can get this thing to work here come out yeah there's a little bit of spark in there that is a jack-in-a-box toy that's what it looks like from the front so um, I want to say my friend Kurt got that for me um, not a big jack-in-a-box fan so this from the TV show there's the back there's some other ones that you can get from the show and along with that I got a shirt. See the shirt there? Um, and here is the box that it came in. That's showcasing the shirt, and then flip it over, and that showcases the Funko Pop. And moving on, Funko Pop, you can see this one. You can see Sheldon holding the trophy. He um, um, dressed up as a flash. He took first place with this costume um, apparently that is a very rare uh, flash to get with the Sheldon Cooper uh, wearing the flash uniform yes I, I did pay 40 bucks for it but apparently it goes for way more than that so uh, this one is just Barry Allen just the flash um, this one the flash has holiday dash and they did the ones on the back there's Superman Wonder Woman Batman of course the flash um, and then um, Harley Quinn and Joker so closing on those yeah so and then there's the stuff version of the exact same Funko Pop so okay moving on down the way reverse flash stuffed animal there or stuffed toy there um, there's a keychain you can see a couple buttons I've collected over the years the reverse flash I want to say Walmart is where I picked him up at um, can, can koozie, I guess you want to call them, has all of them, but, you know, of course they don't do just Flash. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, they do. But that's the Justice League Flash. That's not the old school Flash. They, I'm, I'm sure that they have them. It's just a matter of me finding them and then picking them up. So, this goes with this. And you're saying, well, what is that? Well, it is a, a blender. So, you put your drink in here. Let's say you have some, some milk and you have some powdered protein mix, whatever. Put that in with it and it blends it up just like a shake. So it's great on the go, you know. Um, this little snack, snack pack thing here came with this. And yes, this is Tupperware, believe it or not. Tupperware actually has DC products. Um, 
they have Flash, Wonder Woman, and Superman um, right now. I don't know if they're if they're planning on doing any more, but right now those are the big three. So this glass here got Walmart. I uh, don't remember exactly how much I paid, but uh, either way, um, yeah. Whenever I see something at Walmart that's Flash related, I try to snag it up because I, I've missed opportunities where I didn't, and I came back a couple days later and it's gone. So same thing with the shot glasses; those are flat. Those are from Walmart, but of course they don't do just Flash. You have to get all of the pack, the whole four pack, to get Flash. This straw is a straw that I got from Subway years ago. Um, Thinking that I had to buy something to get that, like chips, a drink, or something, but uh, I, I don't think they wanted to sell it to me just as that. So, but either way, I, I, I snagged it up. So, um, this glass here I got from Atomic Comics in Tacoma, the owner Shane. Uh, yes, I will admit his prices are a little bit higher than most places. Um, don't tell him that because, you know, he's he's going to tell you no, they're not, but. Whatever, it is what it is. Um, he has some pretty cool stuff, but I mean, for a little store that he has, he has some pretty pretty cool stuff. So these mugs, yes, I do actually use these mugs. Um, they were up in our cupboard. So uh, where I got them, probably between uh, when I worked at Hobby Lobby and I want to say Spencer's, between those two places I got them. So um, this Corvette I got at Walmart uh, 2020, so last year. They do have Superman. Uh, I want to say that they also have Wonder Woman and Batman. So this little statue here, if I can get a better shot at him. Yeah, getting much of a glare. Um, he's actually on water. If you can see that or not. Um, I got that for Christmas of this past year, 2020, from my son and daughter-in-law. And then this, this guy here, um, is one I got from from Gabby down on uh, Cars and Comics in Olympia. Olympic Card and Comics. And that price is not what I paid. Uh, I got it for like 25% off or something like that. So got a really good deal. She, she has a lot of specials when uh, Free Comic Book Day comes around. She has a lot of her stuff in the store marked down. So anyway, um couple like Hot Wheels, Smashboxes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this guy here I got from an actual NASCAR store back in Indiana. My wife and I were back there, um, I want to say 2005, and uh, picked that up. So, all right, let me go on this side over here. So, there used to be a store in Tacoma called O'Leary's, and... Um, they had this, they had this hanging on the wall. It's plastic. And I asked one of the employees, how much you want for that? And he's like, dude, if you can get it off the wall, it's yours. So it had a little, had a couple of pins stuck in it, just holding it in place. So I went up to the second floor, uh, went, climbed over the railing, and then I just kind of sat on their bookshelf. They had a lar very large, very tall bookshelf. Uh, and just pulled them out, and there it was. So, I don't know how much it would have been if, if they would have charged me. I'm probably thinking a couple bucks, but free is free. So, uh, so I got that there. I got this um, Alfred E. Newman version of the Flash. And let me flip you over, flip it over. And they did other. So they did uh, Superman, Batman, Robin, Green Arrow, and then up here they did Green Lantern. But there are. Yeah, the different ones of the um, of him as, and you can see right here, uh, he has like mittens that he wears. It's just kind of goofy. So, but anyway, so that is from O'Leary's. This is also from O'Leary's. Um, comes with a treadmill. I've never taken it out of the box. The only thing I took out of the box was. That's the ring. And um, so I, I actually actually broke it. Yeah, I know. Silly. Um, but that's what it looks like. It just pops open. I was actually wearing it 
and I went in to, I went to get something out of my pocket. It opened up and it's just popped right off. So one of these days I'll get around to fixing it. So uh, this I want to say my friend Kurt got me. Um, if you collect all of them, there's a Shazam, there's Batman, there's I think Superman. But anyway, down here at the bottom, um, you'll see there's Batmobile right there in the corner. And what you get is you get a piece of the Batmobile. This is the rear corner of it, uh, like the left side. And you collect all of them and you put the Batmobile together. So, um, and so it came with a card and then it came with this little guy here. So that is from the very first um, Flash uh, from Showcase number four came out in October 56. That is the comic that started the whole Silver Age. That's what revitalized everything. So in case, in case you're wondering why we have superhero comics today, you can thank the Flash for that. So um, these rings here, um, again, I mentioned the DC free table. That's from that. And that is also from, from that. Get some light in there. There we go. So this is a coaster that lights up. Of course, I had to get all four of them in order to get the flash because it, it came as a set, not as an individual. I don't know. Maybe one of these days they'll start sell selling flash stuff by itself. I don't know. This, but we got that. My wife and I got that down at Long Beach, Washington, for I think it was right like around thirty bucks. So, not bad for that. I've never seen those before, so I thought, well, might as well snag it up. Here is a lunch box that I got for work. Um, so you see the see the one side is the uh, symbol, and then the other side is flash running, and then this is on both sides where it has the flash, and then on the bottom it has a little feet, so you can prop it up. Um, let's go on to this backpack. This is. A double-sided backpack so it has the little clips here so what you do is you unhook it back here you unhook it back here these are can you see that can you yeah where those are and then you just feed it through feed it through down here at the bottom you down here where, where my fingers are and then you hook it up inside. So, so this is what it looks like from the side. And then that's what it looks like from the front. So, and I got that for like 50% off. So, really good deal on that. So, sorry. And last but not least, finish off with these guys here. So that is, those are two of the Jay Garrick, uh, I want to say statues or figures that I have. I have Two more out in the garage, which is where I'm going after this. Um, I didn't want to take him out because he's really fragile. Um, that guy just he just stands on his little little platform there. Uh, got this this cereal for six bucks at Ace Comic Con. I want to say either 2018 or 19 when I went to that. I got my photo. I got a picture with Grant Gustin. My son and I did. Um, of course, I was in my costume. That was that was kind of cool. Um, you can see the little Funko Pop, the miniature Funko Pop right here. It's of Grant in his in his costume. So um, cereal was really good. I did take the cereal out, and then I glued the top back, so you can't tell that it's ever been opened. But it kind of had a cherry flavor to it. It's kind of cool. So um, that picture and that Z I got when I worked at Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of really um, interesting pictures and their signs they have for the whole alphabet and they do different um, like Wonder Woman Batman and on different letters and whatnot so I have I have a couple out in the hallway I'll show those in a later video but just wanted to showcase these because they're loose I hadn't hung, hung them up yet so anyway so now I want to take you out to the garage show you the rest of my action figures and then I think we're gonna wrap this up so hang tight Hey guys, so we're out in the garage, and these are the rest 
of my action figures. Um, I don't really want to get too much into detail. Um, if I if you start up at the, the, the there are three rows. So if you start up at the very top row, uh, you'll see where it says first appearance. That is of Jay Garrick, the very first Flash. And then right next to him would be like an Elseworlds. That's something that DC does. If you're not familiar with him, uh, they take and they what if so and so would have been the Flash, or if such and such would have been what if he would have been a World War II or whatever. They they just kind of do some crazy stuff, and it makes you think that wow, that that's kind of different. So those are the other two Jay Garricks that I have, aside from the ones that I just showed you in the bedroom. So moving on down, and I believe both of those are from Comic Cons. Um, the stickers on there don't say where they're from, so I, I want to say that I got those at, at a Comic Con. Which one? I don't actually remember. So um, if you go down here, you see Max Mercury, you see Impulse. Um, I can see from here the tags are that they have that they're from O'Leary so uh, that's where I got those from uh, the JLA uh, impulse that impulse was from KB Toys you look in the upper right hand corner you see the tag um, these kids oh sorry I apologize for that uh, these two kid flashes I believe were from I want to say both of those were from O'Leary's as well Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can get a different angle. Okay, there's that one. And then there's that one. Um, reason I have that one is because it has Wonder Woman and it's kind of trickled over from the top. There's my wife's action figures. Uh, go down here. This is um, from the TV show. My friend Jonathan got that for me for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, of course, the reason I have this one is Reverse Flash. Um, and of course there's John Stewart, Green Lantern, and then Martian Manhunter. Um, Wave Rider. Wave Rider, Hot Girl, and Flash. Um, if you've watched Legends of Tomorrow, if you've just watched one of those episodes, Legends of Tomorrow, that is what Wave Rider should look like. Not, not a ship. He's an actual being that does, that can time travel. So, uh, moving on to the next one. Um, Gorilla Grodd and the Flash. These here are just miscellaneous flashes that I got uh, over the years. I've had them for quite some time, so I don't honestly know where I got them or who got them for me. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, this flash here is from, uh, it's a Justice League. They did a, a whole series of these. Um, let me see if I can grab them off of there. Yeah, so they it's Alex Ross that did these. They're designed by Alex Ross. So, and that's what it, that's what it says up there. And then I, I want to say that they're from Kingdom Come, but um, anyway. So there's that one. And then, of course, underneath him is from the same series is the Gorilla Grodd. It's, it's kind of kind of dark. I apologize for that. Okay, now we'll go back up here. Another one, just regular, just a flash. And then they did, DC did an animated, um, the New Frontier, that's where that's from. Um, the action figure from that. Mirror Master, I wanna say that was from O'Leary's as well. Um, don't remember exactly where I got this guy, uh, Captain Boomerang, but I wanna say that this was his son and not um, Digger Harkness. I don't think it was I don't think it was him. Uh, I think that's his son. Uh, of course, then there's Gorilla Grodd again. Kingdom Come. This is, in the future, what the Flash would look like. And it, I believe it is Wally. Um, and I got that signed by Mark Wade, a good friend of mine that worked uh, for DC at the time. I, I want to say he works for Image Comics now. Um, I'm not sure, but he doesn't, he doesn't work for DC anymore. Not as full-time, anyway. But uh, anyway, so the, the version of the Flash... The reason he looks like that is because he moves so fast that you can't see him. He's like, he's transparent. So that's why he looks like that. So um, Pocket Heroes, got a, I got a few of those. Uh, Ver, reverse Flash Mirror Master, and then Flash and Captain Cold. And then, of course, Kid Flash and Aqualad. 
and then of course reverse flash so anyway guys so that wraps it up as far as my action figures go uh, like i said i'll be doing a couple more videos with some posters and whatnot and then i've got one for just like my t-shirts lanyards hats that kind of thing so anyway so look forward to seeing those very very soon until then see you later guys